It's me, Megan, here at Fit Life, coming to talk to you today about bars. And on our fitness journeys, we often eat protein bars and nutrition bars as snacks. Keep in mind, these are not meal replacement, but snacks to fuel us in between meals or post-workout recovery that can also be used on travel, all sorts of reasons. Now, when you are looking at which bar to buy, you want to look at the protein content, the sugar content, and the carbohydrate content, as well as how much fiber is in the bar. Now, other factors might include um, artificial sweeteners or whether you have, you know, you need gluten-free or not, or nuts, whatever your allergies might be. I always say, look at the protein, look at the carbohydrates and the fiber. Because now we're looking at net carbs, total, when our body digests this. The fiber is going to keep us, the fiber and the protein are going to keep us fuller longer. But those carbohydrates, we don't want, any, we want to be able to subtract the carbs from the fiber and see what that difference is so we can get our net carbs. So that's, that's why we want to look at which bars have that best value. And then sugar, of course. You know, we want it to taste good, but not spike up our sugar levels or use, you know, the sugar we're going to be having from fruits and other sources in this bar. So, make sure that you look at those factors when you're taking into consideration. There are so many different types out there that it can be confusing and misleading. And I always say to my clients, hey, send me a text, the label, I'll tell you, you know, this or that. Because sometimes they can be as bad as for you as like a candy bar. So, Take those factors into consideration. Let me help you. Use those bars as a snack to fuel you and get you through to the next meal. All right, everybody. Have a great day. Thank you.